Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Wherever you are, remember, you have greatness inside of you. Welcome back to another Abs Daily News with your hockey coach, Guru Code Frenchy. Today, episode number one, four, five. What do you have on the menu, coach, today? OMG, this is the time now for the big decision for the three amigos for the Montreal Canadiens for the final roster for upcoming season 2022-2023. We're going to know more about this roster at the end of the day. So I'm going to give you my projection about uh, what kind of decision the three amigos going to take uh, today for the upcoming season. Then I'm going to talk a little bit more about the ab prospect reviewing the week who are the best of the week i'm going to talk about the new players for the montreal canadian claim on the waiver wire during the weekend then finally i'm going to talk about of course waiver wire we have a ton of players can montreal make another move this is what we have on the on the menu today guys we have a lot to talk about so let's dive in and talk about the first subject of the day so the first thing i want to talk about guys uh, is uh, the three amigos have a lot of big decision to do today for the montreal canadian we're going to start with the first of all the montreal have to give the roster at the end of the day i believe it's five o'clock eastern time and every team all of them have to be under the three cap montreal have to figure out this secondly they have to give the long-term injury reserve. So the first thing I want to talk about, guys, is the waiver wire. During the weekend, they send Sunday, Corey Shoneman and Madison Bowie. Every day at 2 o'clock Eastern time, every team in NHL has to give the waiver wire if they have some of the players. Every team after that have 24 hours to take the, a decision to claim them or not. So the next day at 2 o'clock Eastern time, we're going to know more if some of them are claimed or not. Montreal always have the first selection for all the players on the waiver wire until October 31st. So it would be really interesting. I'm going to give you the new list of the players are on the waiver wire today. The next thing I want to talk about, guys, is the not done yet. What are you talking about? After the select, well, yesterday from the waiver, Jonathan Kovacevic. Now, possibly Montreal is not done yet. You have some great players. Well, great. Some experienced players as the defenseman right are on the list. At this moment, a forward for the Columbus Bankstrom is on the list. Would be interesting if Montreal won. This video will be over. The decision Montreal will not be done yet. But I'm going to follow up and tomorrow about if Montreal claim or not a player from this waiver wire the next thing i want to talk about uh, is another big decision for the montreal canadian is the injury long-term reserve uh, what are you talking about coach uh, but i want to talk about this because montreal canadian guys have carry price paul biron we expect joan armia and we know possibly joan Emerson. so we talk about uh, an approximately over 22 million dollars are going to be on the long term so they have to figure out something because a team does not like to have over the sorry cap if they are not maximize all the money they can to be close to the under sorry cap so they can take advantage of the all the long-term injury reserve players uh, over cap and that will give them not 82.5 but example that give them maybe 94 95 million dollars the sorry cap for the year so it'll be interesting what they're going to take or what kind of decision they're going to do or not to put the four players on the long term or not the second thing i want to talk about they have other players day to day zuzuki hoffman devorak madison and Enemen. some of them are going to be there i'm not sure they are all going to be on the evaluation uh, today and we're going to hear a little bit more from the montreal canadian at some point we know can use cancel his conference today it's going to be report at wednesday so that's another thing happening for the Montreal Canadiens. It would be really interesting what the Montreal is going to do for the upcoming, what kind of roster they're going to, to have for the upcoming season. And I want to talk about this one over there, guys, is uh, the roster final for the Montreal is going to be 14 forward, 72 goalie. This is my projection, by the way. So I'm not sure they will go. it's guaranteed, but I expect Montreal are going to go that direction. That gave me, guys, my projection of the players going to be for the Montreal Canadiens are, if everybody I just mentioned are the long-term injury reserve, 
Zizki, Devorek, Manan, Evan, Dak are the center. Winger, Anderson, Gallagher, Dadenov, Caulfield, Pitlick, Drouin, Sakoski, Hoffman, Pesera. That gives you a total of 14 forward. They don't have to put anybody on the waiver. Do exactly what I said about the LTIR. On the defenseman now, this is a bit more defense. Now, if Madison is fine, he's ready to go. It's going to be Madison, Saba, Whiteman. We know Edmondson is on the LTIR. That opened two more spots I gave to Coley, the prospect, and the new player, Kovac Civit. That gave now five players. Because they wave Shuneman and Bowie, I, this moment, if they don't claim any player, let's get in, stay in the team, And I believe Jack I is going to be with them. Now, that open up now. Yes, Baron and Iris are going to return to the Laval Rocket for the beginning of the season. Both players with Jack I and Coley are exempt of the waiver. So they can go back and forth at any time. Then the goaltender at this moment, it's not Allen, it's Allen and not Primo, but Montembo. I make a mistake. So I want to be sure you understand it's Montembo. So that is my projection roster for what Ken Yeo is going to announce today. I could be completely wrong. It would be not my, not my first time I make a prediction and I'm wrong. But that's what I expect from Ken Yeo. So let's move on now, guys, for the next subject of the day. So the next subject of the day, guys, uh, usually I do a coach friendship corner. I show video, everything like this. But today I want to talk about uh, Let's Met Jonathan Kovacevic. I did another video prior to this video today for about over six minutes. I repeat a little bit what I said during that video so you can, uh, this is a short one. You don't have to watch my other video, but if you did already, so you already know what I'm going to talk about. Uh, Jonathan is a big 6'5", 218 pounds, 74 overall pick by the Winnipeg Jack in 2017. He listen, he is a defenseman. If ever he make the NHL at some point, he's going to be in the third pairing. And he's going to be the guy can back and forth between American and Hockey League. He have a lot of things to work for sure to get better. But at that moment, with the Montreal Canadian, with so many young prospects, Kovac Sevich play over 135 game, professional game with the Manitoba Moose or the Winnipeg Jet. Let's see a video of him from uh, Jonathan. First, like I mentioned to you, he played four games last year with Winnipeg Jet, but this is all the goal from him. He have a really great wrist shot. That's the one I really pay attention to. You're going to see him again, a little bit move at the dots, another quick corner top shell over the shoulder of the goalie. Another coming down, another great shot. All the goal guys, you have some power and strength on this shot. And again, it is the way I really believe he has some kind of hands at some point, but maybe he's not ready to become a, a great player, so a full-time in the NHL. Now you're going to see after this goal, guys, uh, uh, all the um, defensive zone coverage he does with some uh, check. You see this one over there? I thought he was an interference, but it looked like it was okay. Another hip check over there. That's one he likes to do at some point. He needs some timing. But again, he is really strong, and he used his body very well on the defensive zone coverage, uh, and that's helping him, honestly. Because he's a big guy, 6'5", and 220 pounds. So it'll be interesting what he can do with the Montreal Canadiens. Something I always said to you he needs to develop with improve is really his skating a little bit on the back, backwards. And his uh, edge work have to get a little bit more uh, better at some point. But again, he's many times he's eliminate the opening players uh, by his strength. Uh, this is a great example of him. And that'll give you an idea what he looked like. Uh, Uh, Jonathan for the Montreal Canadian is really good, of course, uh, on the battle one versus one. This is another quality he has uh, uh, when he go in the corner because his strength is a power to be a big guy helping him. Another thing I look when I watching is about four to seven game. He is really good on puck and he have a good stick position. But again, it's another player, like many others, is going to be possibly a third pairing in NHL if he stay there, or he's going to be a good player in American Hockey League. Again, he's only 25 years old. He did not reach maybe his full potential. But the way they are Montreal Canadian, 
they think possibly it's better to have uh, the two other prospects like Baron and Harris start the season with the Laval Rocket and to add uh, uh, Kovacevic uh, uh, with the Montreal Canadiens. And this could be of a long term. Uh, they can, he can play with Laval Rocket at some point. Let's move on now, guys, for the next subject of the day. So the next subject, guys, is Monday. We talk about coach. We know every Monday we bring some news about the abs prospect everywhere they play. And I have a couple of players I want to mention to you. And some of them are coming back for the second week. Uh, first of all, Joshua Roy continues to perform with the Sherbrooke Phoenix. They are right now at the top of the QM. And three games last week, uh, he has 8.3 goals, five assists. Uh, listen, he's another player did so well last season. He continues to perform with the Sherbrooke. Uh, the second player I want to talk is another one. He did 100 points last year in the QM. He does this. He consists doing the same thing. This week, he has seven points in three games. It's another one where he has some difficulties during the rookie camp with the Montreal Canadiens at some point. But uh, look, uh, sometime uh, it is what it is. And now he maybe get his confidence back in the QM. It would be interesting to follow him during the season. So the next player I want to talk about, guys, uh, is... Uh, Jacob Dobez, uh, the goaltender from the ORU State. Uh, we know we talked about him last week, uh, exactly like Ahuay Kidney. Uh, now, since the beginning of the season, a 4 0 0 is a save percentage of 0.927. And for the first time last game, they won 4 to 3. It was the first time in four games he gave over two goals during the same game. And he continues to impress the big 6 5. The next player I want to talk about, guys, is Lane Hudson. Really impressive. This kid is so talented, a skill, and so shifty. He did an amazing great pass to his brother during the game during the weekend. It was unbelievably great pass. And his brother Quinn scored a hat trick during the, that game. One, but he scored 7 1 again. The Waterloo. Again. When you watch his game, what the heck? He was drafted only 62 overall pick. Montreal have a really, really great hockey player. Of course, we only talk about his size, but it would be interesting to follow him every single day. But a great weeks overall for Lane. And then finally, the last one I'm talk about is Adam Engstrom. We know he was drafted by the Montreal Canadiens, played in Sweden. And he played for both teams, uh, J20 National and uh, SHL. He had a good week. He played about 11 minutes per game on the men league. And he's doing well. Everybody is impressed by the way he's uh, played during the week. And uh, until I said to you, he's eligible to play for Team Sweden on the World Junior Championship uh, in 2023. Don't be surprised. He become possibly one of the top best defenseman for the team Sweden. So this complete, guys, all the update we have for the ab prospect for the week. Let's finish in now for the next subject of the day. So my last subject of the day is another thing we talk about uh, during the season is the waiver wire. You can see, guys, all the lists we have. But let's start with Boston. Nick Foligno, a veteran like Mike Riley and Chris Warner, all three on the waiver. Not big surprise with Colorado, with two blurs they have. But Columbus guy, Emil Benstrom, is a solid young player and is really fast. Would be interesting if someone can pick him. I wouldn't be surprised. Will Butcher, right defenseman for Dallas. Can Montreal open the door for him? Devin Shaw, surprisingly, is right now on the waiver. Josh Levo for the St. Louis Blues. We have Philip Myers, the defenseman, right defenseman, signing a contract with them. Jensen Harkins, uh, another player where I'm shocked he almost played over 60 games last year with Winnipeg Jet. We have the veteran Michael DeZoto, did not make the team with the Florida Panthers so far. And then if you go a little bit lower, the only thing I can tell you right now, like you said, Montreal have Shoneman and Bowie. Possibly Julien Gauthier for New York Ranger. But they are the players I believe Montreal can look at and maybe pick one. Most on the defenseman, Butcher, Myers, Del Solo. They are the players we have right now on the waiver list, guy for the NHL. Like I said, we're going to know this at 2 o'clock today. Who? was claimed or not, or they are all clear. That's, we'll see what's happening. And then after two o'clock today, we have another bunch of new players I will bring to you tomorrow. And I want to mention during the weekend, the Arizona claim uh, Giso Valimaki 
of Weaver from the Calgary Flame. This guy concludes all the subjects we have on the app daily news today. Here we go. Episode number 145 is done. Please, I would love to hear from you. Leave me a comment about the, all the subjects we talk about. I would like to see your projection of a roster for the Montreal Canadiens. Until the next time, we want to remind you, of course, you have greatness inside of you. Have an amazing, great, blessing day. And for all my friends in Canada, we wish you an happy Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving.